welcome to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe today we're going to talk about safe ways to use internet banking currently banks provide us with convenience it's like we have our own ADM machine at home along with the development of technology internet banking services have become part of the modern lifestyle that accompanies our life every day Behind all the conveniences provided, there are actually risks that are often forgotten or we don't care about these threats. The term banking crime in the internet world is most known as hacking or cybercrime. This internet crime becomes easier to happen when we do not understand how to secure bank internet transactions. Then, is it difficult to secure the transaction? Actually, it is easy to do but it does require knowledge and care from its users. Here are safe ways to use internet banking. First one, keep banking data confidential. Remember that all bank transactions related to customer data are only carried out at bank branch offices. The bank will never ask directly or via email to request customer data information without coming to the bank branch office. If there is a link that looks suspicious and related to financial data enters your mailbox, ignore it even if it looks really authentic. It is recommended to check the email to the bank branch where you have an account. Make sure that you know all the rules and regulations that exist in the bank regarding the security of customer data. Second, update or change passwords periodically. Changing bank account passwords period periodically is important, for example, every 3 to 6 months if your transactions are done frequently. Password combinations in the form of mixed characters are safer for you, for you to do. Usually, the password consists of at least 6 characters. Third, ensure the bank website's URL address is safe and not suspicious. First of all, make sure you are using an authentic site before entering personal information on an internet banking website. The way to check is easy. By looking at the web display, there must be a closed padlock icon logo. By looking out for designs, it will keep personal information and passwords safe from cybercrime. Fourth, routinely check accounts and contact banks if there are suspicious transactions. There are many ways that hackers use in an attempt to steal bank customer funds. In addition to the technique of stealing data via email, they usually play with ADMs considering that the ADM machine is on standby for 24 hours. Therefore, routinely check your account. If you find a suspicious transaction, immediately report it to the relevant bank. Don't procrastinate because the account can be temporarily blocked so that the money doesn't run out. Fifth, never share OTP codes. When transacting with internet banking, you will generally receive a secret code or OTP message. Keep the code secret and you should not ignore it. Note that the OTP code that comes in via SMS or email is confidential. Don't believe it if someone on behalf of the bank asks for your OTP codes. Sixth, ensure exit or logout from internet banking browser. If you have logged in to your bank account, never leave without going through the process of clicking logout. Often users exit by cross-clicking directly in the upper right corner. This is very wrong because the browser system may still read you are still logged on so that the transaction recap is still recorded in the catch and browser history and this makes your data easy to be stolen by irresponsible parties. 7. Avoid transactions through other people's smartphones. If you are a person who is always on the go and don't have time to visit the bank, a smartphone is the ideal device to help with your transactions. Smartphones are also considered a safe solution if it's difficult to transact at ATMs in shopping centers or in public places. But avoid doing internet banking transactions by borrowing someone else's cell phone or smartphone, as this has no guarantee of security, especially if you do not know the person. You have to be careful so that you don't become a victim. 
with the continuous development of current technology in the banking sector, of course, it will make it easier for every customer to access every banking transaction they have. For this reason, it is very important for every customer to know the security system in transactions, maintain personal data, and know what to do in an emergency related to the transaction itself. Lastly, always be alert and stay vigilant.